Title, House Freedom Caucus Declares Green a No-Go, Bye-Bye Marjorie Taylor. T-L-D-R. In an unexpected plot twist, Marjorie Taylor Greene, one of Trump's fiercest disciples, got kicked out of the House Freedom Caucus. The eviction was served hot and fresh following a scuffle with her cohort Lauren Bobert over impeachment plans for President Joe Biden. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a name as infamous as it is flamboyant, and known for making waves in the U.S. political landscape, has been handed the proverbial boot from the House Freedom Caucus, which consists of about three dozen heavy hitters of conservatism. MTG had previously been a steadfast flag bearer for Trump during his presidency, so what caused the caucus to decide they've had enough of the green scene question mark? The last straw came in the form of a fiery feud with fellow House member Lauren Bobert on the legislative battleground. Bobert, another hardliner, had devised a plan to try and drag President Joe Biden into an impeachment trial, a notion that Green didn't quite see eye to eye on. And when two unstoppable forces meet, it seems the caucus was forced to intervene, and not in Green's favor. Now, let's turn the page back a bit. Green is known for her controversial statements and actions that have often raised eyebrows among her fellow Republicans and Democrats alike. She's no stranger to heated debates and public spectacles even leading to her removal from House committees back in February 2021. But, now, she finds herself a lone wolf, booted out of a group she once helped bolster. Yet, questions arise. With her staunch support for Trump and her unwavering stance on various divisive issues, will Green's exit from the House Freedom Caucus trigger a shift in the political landscape? Here's one for you. With Green out of the equation, does it suggest a new course of political action within the caucus? Could this be a sign of internal realignment within the Republican ranks? Or is it merely a matter of personal disagreements growing too large to contain? And hey, let's not forget the elephant, or should we say, donkey, in the room, the proposed impeachment of President Biden. Is this now going to be swept under the rug, or will someone else pick up the baton where Bobert and Green left off? But at the end of the day, what does this move mean for the constituents of Green's district? Will they rally behind their booted rep? or start window shopping for a less controversial voice to represent them. As the dust settles from this latest political power play, we're left to wonder, in the grand game of political chess, who will make the next big move? Is Green just a pawn sacrificed for a bigger play, or a queen ousted from the board? And finally, we leave you with this to ponder over your morning brew, what does Marjorie Taylor Green's removal from the House Freedom Caucus mean for the future of American politics? Can we expect more inner Republican tussles? To surface, is the era of political firebrands fading or just getting started? Disclaimer, this news report is for informational purposes only and does not constitute political advice or endorsement of any individual or party by turned up news.